donne maintenant la parole à l'Allemagne. And um, today's debate on the protection of civilians in the armed conflict comes at a crucial moment. Only last week, the International Criminal Court announced its intention to invite three Libyan officials in hope of responsible for organized crimes against humanity perpetrated against civilians in Libya. Following the landmark Security Council Resolution in 1970, this is an important step in enhancing accountability for violations of international law and ending the so-called culture of impunity. Regarding responsibility to protect, let me be clear. It is first and foremost the responsibility of each state to protect the civilian population from violence. However, the international community will not turn a blind eye when there is a blatant disregard of this obligation message that applies not only to Libya, it goes beyond it. Mr. President, the victims continue to bear the brunt of the violence in our country. The events in Cote d'Ivoire and Libya reconfirmed this in a tragic way. In this project, the excessive use of forces and civilians in all various forms cannot and must not be accepted by the Security Council and the international community at large. Let me briefly touch upon some of the situations of particular concern to us. First, on Syria. We're deeply shocked by the violence and the brutality of the internal repression against unarmed and peaceful protests orchestrated by the Syrian authorities. The use of tanks and of heavy artillery against the civilian population in Dara, Anias, and other cities are deeply worried. The Syrian authorities clearly stand at the fork in the road. We strongly urge the Syrian government to end its military repression against its own population and to respect human rights. Those responsible for the killings should be held accountable. In order to make this message clear, we have worked for the European Union to take measures against Syria and against persons responsible for the violent repression. These measures have come into force today. Ongoing violence and the implications also require that we continue to address the situation in Syria in the security conflict. In the of Afghanistan, we remain seriously concerned about the intolerable high number of conflict-related civilian casualties. The large majority of them are caused by indiscriminate attacks by the Taliban, Al-Qaeda, and other violent armed groups. We'd also like to take note of the continued progress made by Afghan and international forces in minimizing civilian casualties. The situation of the civilian population in Somalia remains a cause, a cause of grave concern, as are the ongoing activities of the Lord's Resistance Army, in particular the abduction of children in parts of the DRC, Southern Sudan and the Central African Republic. For Sri Lanka, Germany welcomes the report of 